Hey there everybody and welcome back. Today we're talking Star Wars, and not just any Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Back in 2012, Lucasfilm was bought out by Disney for a whopping $4 billion. Star Wars fans were ecstatic because that pretty much ensured that we were going to get some new Star Wars content. And right away, Disney announced a new trilogy in the Skywalker Saga, episodes 7 through 9. There were also talks of spin-off movies following some of our favorite characters like Boba Fett and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then something happened. Solo was Star Wars story, and it bombed big at the box office. The production was a disaster. Directors were fired, there were reshoots, rewrites, pretty much anything you don't want to happen on a film set happened on this movie. And with that, our hopes and dreams of an Obi-Wan story died. But then Disney launched their own streaming service, Disney Plus, and with it, their first live action Star Wars series, The Mandalorian. It was a huge hit with fans and critics and brought in a ton of viewers. They pretty much immediately greenlit a season two, which is set to hit the streaming service next month. If you haven't seen that trailer, check it out. It looks amazing. And with that success, we got a new hope for an Obi-Wan Kenobi story. There were talks of him getting his own series on the platform, and for a while they were just that, talks. But recently we've been getting a lot more news, a lot more confirmations, and a lot more updates. And it looks like it is happening. It is set to hit the streaming service next year. What we do know is that Ewan McGregor is confirmed to return to the role of Obi-Wan Kenobi, a character he first portrayed in the prequel trilogies episode 1 through 3, where last we saw him he had chopped off all of Anakin Skywalker's limbs and left him burning like a chicken nugget in a volcano. What we also know is that this series is set to take place eight years after the events of that film, with Obi-Wan Kenobi living in exile on Tatooine, watching over a young Luke Skywalker from a distance. I'm sure he's likely to get into all sorts of crazy adventures, fighting monsters, crime bosses, and maybe even a Sith or two. What do you guys think about this series? Are you excited as I am, or do you think they should focus on new characters and new stories like The Mandalorian? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook. I'm Joshua Ryan. I'll see you next time.